Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to today's channel. Today, I'm going to show you guys how you guys can get cinematic footage with your iPhone with the help of the DJI OM4. So today, Elizabeth is going to be behind the camera and I'm going to be mainly using this. Um, I kind of want to show you guys how to use it, how to go about it, the pros, the cons, if you should buy it. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. for shooting b-roll i noticed this gimbal does a lot of jittering um it has some slow motion capabilities built into the app but it looks too grainy that's why i really didn't use it that much um, another thing is that when trying to do a whip type of transition the gimbal kind of like jitters around and tries to find something to get in focus and try to get back aligned so for some of these shots it was with the gimbal and as for some of the shots it was handheld so overall, I just want to show you guys the capabilities of the iPhone camera. The iPhone camera already comes with awesome image 
stabilization, great battery life. If in the iPhone, let's say iPhone 10, if you were to shoot 4K 60 for this amount of time and running an app, your battery would be dead. So the battery is also great. Um, the picture quality is awesome. I don't like using the wide angle lens too much because it kind of distorts your face, um, making you look wider than you normally look. Something that if you're into photography or filmmaking, you'll see that wide angle lenses, you have to have the correct focal length for it. Um, but other than that, I think this was a decent product. Would I recommend it? Yes. For B-roll, no, not so much. You can sometimes tell when you're shooting in slow motion that it kind of jitters to try to find its focus. Um, and since it's slow motion, it'll capture it a lot easier. So yeah, so now let's head back to the, to the studio. All right guys, now that we're back in the studio, let's further discuss how to get cinematic footage with your iPhone. Now, I don't, I'm not specifically saying that you need to go out and buy external stuff, but it'll make your life a lot easier. Um, and that's why I got this DJI OM4 today. Um, so my thoughts on the DJI OM4 is that this thing is great if you're like a beginner filmmaker that has no money to invest um, into professional gear, but you still want that professional look. Um, so I would definitely recommend this and it's definitely gonna take you a couple, you know, practice, you're gonna have to practice it to use it. <clears throat> Secondly, um, I don't know how I feel about shooting this on landscape, like super low shots because Sometimes you'll notice that this little thing, this piece right here, when you're at an angle of a 90 degree angle and you're shooting wide, you're able to see that. And you, you guys will, have you guys seen the B-roll already? You, it, it shows on there. And also secondly, like I said earlier in, in the other shots when we were at the park with Elizabeth, um, the wide angle lens, I wouldn't recommend for you to use it unless it's more like a picture you're gonna take um if you notice um it looks kind of warped out like your face looks kind of like bigger than it usually does and that's kind of like the projection that wide angle lens gives people um but also i think just the standard lens is, is the one you should be shooting with telephoto not so much because the more you use the telephoto the more grain you can start to see in your shot and that's something i noticed when using it the ease of use with these together, um, if I had to give it a rate from one to 10, I would have to say it's maybe like an eight, simply because maneuvering this is not as simple as it might look. Yes, you just connect your phone and it has a magnetic connection to it and you turn it on, it balances it on, your, on its own, but it does come at a cost. There was a lot of times when I wanted to do certain things that with my camera, having it handheld, I'd be able to do it with no problem. But with this, since it always tries to find something to focus on, you'll notice that it struggles and it just kind of like warps around until it gets to that shot that it's looking for. All right guys, now let's talk about the ease of use of this. So pretty much this thing is magnetic. So it just comes apart like that. And then you just connect it to your phone like this just like that and then you want to make sure that the DJI Osmo is um, the same as it is on the gimbal it has to be on the same side and then boom magnetically it's connected we power it on you just clip it on this is portrait mode and then this is landscape mode so the ease of use is really top of the line like this will make it really easy. Like I said, this is for beginners. This is for someone that's like, hey, I wanna start filmmaking, but I only have like 150 bucks, what should I buy? If you got an iPhone and you get a gimbal, the next thing I'd say is maybe get a microphone and then you can honestly go out there and start shooting stuff. The quality that comes with, with the new iPhone cameras is top of the line. Now let me just go back into the app. It's connected. So yeah, so it's really easy to use. Um, if let's say you're like moving around and everything and then you you come back here and it's not in landscape like how you guys want it, you just double press the shot button and it'll line it up for you perfectly. You just double press M, 
you're on portrait mode, double press M again, and you're on landscape mode. And then it has an awesome record button built into here. So you just press record and it'll record it. You don't even have to touch your phone anymore, which I think is pretty cool. Also right here, you can um, go telephoto or you can go down to wide. It's actually pretty cool. Um, so like I said, you can shoot 4K at 60. You can use this manually, which is the way to go. Um, so one thing I do realize, obviously, since you don't have an external screen for your phone, sometimes getting like walking shots really, really low to the ground, it's gonna be really, really difficult for those shots to be there for you. Simply because it's, um, it's because like, you know, when you have an external monitor, it's easier to see what you're doing. Like when I have my camera down low near someone's foot, I just pop out the camera and I'm able to see what I'm shooting. With this thing, you have it right here. So you're kind of just praying that it's, it's getting everything on focus. So overall, this product is great. I do recommend it just so you guys can see what the box looks like. Um, so I do recommend it. Um, so yeah, guys, pretty much ever, whenever you want to shoot B-roll and anything, 4K at 60 or 120, fix it up how you want it in post. Try to use seamless transitions. That, that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. It is my birthday, so we're kind of running short on time here, but I did want to make another video for you guys. Like I said, I'm trying to post a new video every week. I'm um, trying to make, be consistent with you guys. Um, so yeah, let me know if you guys enjoy these type of videos in the comment section down below. If you want to wish me a happy birthday, be my guest. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.